What is a vortex? I think it's an energy field where there's like, uh, yeah, you can have like masculine energy or feminine energy. It's a Native American thing. I'm not quite sure to be honest. So it's like a spiritual thing? So we're currently headed to the Kachina Vortex in Boynton Canyon. This is a place that was highly recommended by my parents. They went last year and they said the main reason why this one is so special is because supposedly there is a man that may or may not go by the name Richard who goes there every single day. He walks up to the vortex and he plays the flute. We're not sure if he goes truly every single day and if he'll be there today, but we're gonna see if we can catch him. So today's objective, find the mysterious man with the flute. Turn right, and you will arrive at your destination. Watch his name isn't Richard. <laughs> Are you Richard? No, I'm <laughs> Gary. Oh shit, sorry. I'm really hoping he shows. <laughs> I got a good feeling about it. So this is probably the chilliest morning so far. No, there's no one out here besides us. And we're keeping, you know, our ears really open to any flute-like sounds because today is all about the flute man. Where is this guy? Who is this guy? What does he do? Is he really Richard? Yeah. Or is that a, an alias? What's his real name? Is he Native American? Is he Caucasian? <laughs> we will soon find out. Still no sign of flute man, but I'm really excited to meditate inside the vortex. It sounds probably so cheesy, but both of my parents said they did it when they were here and it was so magical. I can't explain how calm and peaceful it feels here. It just feels, feels good. to make one. Look how tiny you got the last one on top. Hey, good morning. So unfortunately, there's no sign of the flute man, but it was definitely worth getting up early and coming here. This wasn't really a hike. This was like a, a little walk. Yeah, not even a half mile I'd say to get here. Nice and easy for those of you who want to just get them incredible view without having to put in all too the much mileage. work yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is our view do to go play right now no way and I have a is your name you is, is your name Richard. Robert. 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 Wait, Robert. Robert. This is so crazy. So I have a heart for oh you for Mother Earth. Thank you so much. The hearts are filled with hundreds of very, very, very special energies, including unconditional love and magic. So the energies are in the heart. They go home with you and to be there for whenever you want to need them. And the whole idea is just to spread unconditional around the earth. One heart at a time. And this is how we change everything on the earth. So every master that ever came to us, every single one of them for thousands of years, always give us the exact same message every time, because there is only one message. But if you look in the books, everyone was a different message. Yeah. So the message they gave us was everything you need is within your own heart. It's all about the love. Yeah. The rest of it's just a bunch of hooey. Yeah. Thank you. Thank well, you. We're going to follow you up. Okay. Well, I'll be stopping to give away hearts as I go up, but yeah. after that, I'll be right. right up on the top of it every day. And when I play my flute, I'm channeling the creator's energy through the flute. We are walking down, we're getting ready to leave. This man comes up to us and starts smiling. He starts pulling something out of his pocket. We met the flute man, and his name is not Richard, it's Robert. So you guys can see Robert's right up there, and people are starting to gather for him to play. Now he said he's been doing this almost every day since 2011. So we're there too with him. Oh, so cute. Just the best way to go up, do you know? Um, I think he went this way around. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> you know what? I would go right there. Hands free for sure. <laughs> right foot into the roof of the wall. Oh, I see our hands. Yeah, that's it. One hand pulls you up, one hand pulls you up. Put your left hand to your left and push up with it. Put oh. your right hand back where you had it. There you go, there okay. you go. There you go. Watch your head when you come up. Oh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. Right foot up, right hand, right hand. Yeah, you got it down. Oh, I mean, yeah. if you've been doing it for almost 10 years, you said. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> right, yeah. Dude. So that was the coolest experience. I just loved how you just always smiling so friendly to everybody and I loved when you'd give hearts I'd see you giving hearts to like people that were tourists I think from like Japan or something yeah. and they were just so surprised because yeah. I think culturally for them that they don't expect it so to see their reaction was really cool yeah it was cool and then no one expects him to, to climb up that rock he's almost 70 years old yeah and he's in great shape he's 69 years old yeah he's 69 he climbs up that rock and he plays that flute so Sedona yeah this yeah. is what Sedona Kachina Vortex at 10 a.m. on most days, come here and you will hopefully meet the flute man. I love this one. Look how cute it is. Oh, wow. I'm not a huge beer drinker and this is amazing.